All right, Middle Age White Guy Reacts back again today with another video for you. And in today's video, we got Adam Calhoun. He has Mises. And they're bringing Tom McDonald along with them. This is Mears. All right, this just dropped like two minutes ago now. All right, two minutes ago, this just dropped. Uh, and we're ready for it. We're ready. This will be actually my second video today. I just did Chris Webby and Ren's new song, uh, Baggage. So after this video, go ahead and watch that reaction. That song's amazing. Um, but without further ado, let's get into this one. Like I said, Adam Calhoun, Mises, and Tom McDonald. We love all these guys. Um, I'm not, not super familiar with Mises. I've heard like 10 songs from him, probably. Um, so I know what he's about and I know how he raps in his style, but like, I'm not like, you know, deep into Mises here. Um, so, you know, we get to take another look at him, which we always like, he always brings it. So, um, excited about that. And we know Adam and we know Tom. So let's go ahead and without further ado, get right into this though. Let's go. What you guys got for us today? And I looked and behold a pale horse and his name that said upon him was death. Hmm. <laughs> Revelations. And hell followed with him. You ever get depression? Face goes blank, no expression. Dealing with some demons, they aggressive. Mm. Looking at the gun on the dresser. Got a question. Will these thoughts stop if I press it? How do I run them off my Ugh. Ugh. Adam? Okay, you're coming. You're starting off deep, man. You're starting off deep. Hold on. Hold on. Let's come back a little bit. You ever get depression? Face goes blank, no expression. Dealing with some demons, they aggressive. Looking at the gun on the dresser. Got a question. Will these thoughts stop if I press it? How do Ugh, like basically, hey man, have you ever been depressed? You know, you're sitting there like blank expression, you know. Uh demons coming at you in your head, your own demons coming at you real aggressive. And you're looking at a gun on the dresser, wondering if, if it'll stop these thoughts if you pressed it. God, dude. Yeah, it would. Yeah, it would. It would stop the thoughts, for sure. Um, you know, high-velocity <laughs> metal going through it pretty much uh, severs all connections right then and there. Ugh. All right, let's go. Aggressive, looking at the gun on the dresser. Got a question. Will these thoughts stop if I press it? I don't really want to off myself, but I often sit and think. Gotta shed a tear like a drop from a faucet sink. Need to talk to a shrink. Walk with a priest. Want to fight everybody when I walk down the street. Yeah. Got a problem. Fuck you, your honor. Never had a father. Made me crazy. Motherfucker came and swinging like Muhammad Ali. Frazier. Oof. Never had a father. So apparently Adam's father wasn't in the picture. All right. And this is like all about how, you know, he deals with this trauma and his anger, his depression and everything. And it's like, yeah, you know, he might think, look at that, that gun on the, uh, the shelf over there and think about it for a moment, but he would never really truly consider it. He just kind of walks around being miserable and angry. He takes it out on people all day long. I mean, that's basically what he said there, right? Let's go back here one more time. Looking at the gun on the dresser, got a question. Will these thoughts stop if I press it? I don't really want to off myself, but I often sit and think. Gotta shed a tear like a drop from a faucet sink. Need to talk to a shrink, walk with a priest. Want to fight everybody when I walk down the street. Want a problem? Fuck you, your honor. Never had a father. Made me crazy, motherfucker. Came and swinging like Muhammad Ali Frazier. Born in 1980. Started rapping way before I ever heard a shady. Ugh. Stop it. Started rapping way before I heard a shady. All right. Yep. Um, so what did he say? He said he's born in, hold on. Want a problem? Fuck you, your honor. Never had a father. Made me crazy, motherfucker. Came and swinging like Muhammad Ali Frazier. Born in 1980. Started rapping way before I ever heard it. He's born in 1980. All right. So, so me and him are similar age. He's just a smidge older than me. Um, I was into rap a decade, a decade plus before Eminem came on the scene. All right, so so me and Adam, all right, guys our age, you know, more than likely he got started on, you know, NWA, Snoop, Dre, Biggie, um, you know, maybe those guys, or maybe a little uh, later, uh, earlier, uh, Run DMC, um, KRS One, you know, those types. So, um, you know, that that was our example. I got hooked in 
in late, very late 80s, maybe early 90s. All right, I think like around 88, 89, 90, I started listening to rap. Um, so yeah, I mean, that was that was a decade plus before for Eminem was even a thought, man. Let's go. Everybody wanna walk down the street, wanna problem? Fuck you, Your Honor. Never had a father, made me crazy. Motherfucker came and swinging like Muhammad Ali Frazier. Born in 1980, started rapping way before I ever heard of Shady. I ain't even know white dudes rap. Thought you had to be black for that. Had to <laughs> I didn't even know white dudes rap. Thought you had to be black for that. Yeah, for that first decade, man, there, there, there wasn't any. There was not any. No one. No one. Um, Vanilla Ice was like the first one to hit the, the, the big, you know, mainstream there. And, and he was only one and done. So, um, you know, even after seeing the, the, um, aberration of, of Vanilla Ice, you realize though, that these guys were not in this space though. So, uh, you know, uh, there was a time where it's like, you know, yeah, this is, this is their thing. We don't do this. That's funny. I didn't even know white dudes rap. Thought you had to be black for that. Had to really start a jacket with the hat to match. I yeah. was way before. Oh, the starter jackets with the hats to match, man. You all get, everybody got their team jackets. All right, I had a Browns one. Um, You know, my buddy had an Ohio State. You know, somebody had a Washington Redskins. You know, and, and every boy in school at that time, every single one of us had a starter jacket. Every single one of us. That was the only jacket acceptable was the starter jackets. All right. And then, yep, you get the matching cap, dude, and you were set. Let's go, man. Was rap, thought you had to be black for that. Had a Philly starter jacket with the hat to match. I was rapping way before I heard the aftermath. I've been feeling crazy, but I've been acting like I got it all together. Cut. I've been down lately, but uh, I've been acting crazy, or I've been crazy lately, but I've been acting like I'm have it all together. Um, I think that's a lot of us a lot of the time. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. I feel that for sure. I've been acting like I got it all together. I've been down lately, but maybe someday I'll get my act together. Made it through the bad weather. They was okay, but I had better. I don't like to look in mirrors, cause I don't like looking at my face. <laughs> I don't look at my He doesn't look at his face. Is that like he doesn't like to see the reflection that's looking back at him? Um, you know, taking like what he's talking about in this song, um, he doesn't like the person that he sees when he looks in that mirror. All right, because you know, I mean, he's not a bad looking man. There's no reason to not want to look at his own face. I mean, well. That kind of sounds weird. I mean, nobody stands in a mirror. Well, you shouldn't stand in a mirror staring at your own face all day. Um, but yeah, I think he's definitely talking in a, like, he doesn't like the reflection. He doesn't like the person that's actually there looking back at him. Let's go. I don't look at my face. I don't look at my face. I see you looking at my face. Ooh. Say it with your chest. <laughs> Sometimes when I need to get my kids' attention, all right, they're doing something they're not supposed to be doing. I've tried the reasonable approach, okay? Hey, boys, I need you to stop doing that. All right, guys, that's enough. Someone's going to get hurt. We can't be doing that, all right? After so many of those, though, you got to get the dad voice, all right? And the dad voice comes from the chest, all right? Right now, I'm talking, like, through the throat, all right? <laughs> so when you get that dad voice, and I would give you an example, but it'd probably, like, you know, uh, blow your speakers. But, uh, you know, it comes from it comes from here, man. You, you get that, you say it with your chest. That's when you're serious, man. When you're saying something with your chest, you ain't fucking around at that point. Let's go, means this. <laughs> So aggressive, say it with my chest this so they get the message. I don't mean to text best if you just look away. Or I make your head twist like Ooh. an exorcist. That nasty looking. That's some exorcist shit in the mirror going on right there. So aggressive, say it with my chest this so they get the message. I don't mean to text best if you just look away. Or I make your head Ugh. twist like an exorcist. Waking up from nightmares, heart thumping God. Are you hearing my prayers? Cause I hear thunder. And I don't really like mirrors. Someone stares back at me looking like my fear. 
I don't like mirrors. Hold on, hold on. How does he say this? I think he's gonna confirm what I said about what Adam said. Waking up from nightmares, heart thumping God. Are you hearing my prayers? Cause I hear thunder. I don't really like mirrors. Someone stares back at me looking like my fear. The, the only thing I'm looking back at him from that mirror is something that's uh how does he how does he put this? Prayers, I hear thunder. I don't really like mirrors. Someone stares back at me looking like my fear. The, Someone stares back at me looking like my fears. Alright? So yeah, it's it's the fear of confronting who and what you are. Let's go, man. Yep. The only ones I'm scared of is God and the old me. All right, man. He don't want to go back to those old ways. Let's go. The old me drunk off oldie. Yep, the old me drunk off old me. Old, the, the old me drunk off oldie. Old English. Let's go. Slowly numbing his pain with oldie and codeine. All right, so you know this. This is again. This is a common theme. All right, with, with people who have gone through addiction. Okay, that they, they use it to escape to numb their pain, to forget about their traumas and the things that bother them, to, to you know, deal with their depression. Um, but it's all, again, it's always temporary. This is a temporary solution for those problems. And then once you're sober again, those problems are still sitting there waiting for you. Let's go. Try to impart on his heart with his art, but But the dark feels like darts. He doesn't know where he starts. All right. So he's, he's trying to like pour his heart, use his heart to, to pour it into his, his music. But the darkness is like a shroud over that. He can't, can't fully tap into it. Right. All right, hold on, Tom. Hold on. Hold on. Take a little sip of Joe here. All right, let's go. I'm mentally unstable, unable to get a grip. That my guardian angel probably thinks I'm a piece of shit. Got a mountain of problems, and I've been standing on a cliff. Thinking maybe I should jump and tell everybody I tripped. Can't admit Ooh. it, but I'm sick. The prescription pills that I get, getting harder to swallow, and I don't feel like I'm fixed. I'm slipping further and further into the grip of a pit I've been digging since I was nothing, a little six year old kid. Now I'm. Mm. All right, so he's definitely talking from the perspective of um, when he was struggling. Um, Probably around the same time, he's not talking about his alcoholism right now, but around the same time he was dealing with his alcoholism and he was on all those meds, all right? Um, I don't know specifically what, but it seems like it's going to be like Xanax, uh, you know, um, oh God, what are the other ones? All those other ones like that, you know, um, antidepressant and, you know, um, anti-anxiety type medications. Um, so he's talking about that time. Let's go back and hear it here. And basically how he's saying, like, you know, he, these pills, he's taking all these pills and it's just nothing's happening. He's, it's not getting any better. All right, let's go. An angel probably thinks I'm a piece of shit. Got a mountain of problems and I've been standing on a cliff. Thinking maybe I should jump and tell everybody I tripped. Can't admit it, but I'm sick. The prescription pills that I get, getting harder to swallow and I don't feel like I'm fixed. I'm slipping further and further into the grip of a pit I've been digging since I was nothing. A little six-year-old kid. Mm. Now I'm grown and I'm... You know, that suck. You know, you feel like, you know, you've had the same issue and the, the same, like, Things surrounding you since you were six and it just feels like you've been digging this hole for for all that time 
All right, now that you're an adult and, you, and you're still like, you know, why am I digging this hole? I need to start getting out and you realize you're fucking deep. You, you're deep, 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 deep. You, you might not be able to pull yourself out of this now. It's wild. Let's go. Been further and further into the grip of a pit I've been digging since I was nothing, a little six-year-old kid. Now I'm grown and I'm seeing ghosts of the man I used to be before I fell into this hole for the bones. I'll be uh, Yep, see? Hold on. Now I'm grown and I'm seeing ghosts of the man I used to be before I... I'm grown and I'm seeing ghosts of the man I used to be. Okay. I've been digging since I was nothing, a little six-year-old kid. Now I'm grown and I'm seeing ghosts of the man I used to be before I fell into this hole full of bones. I'll be getting stoned and it helped me cope with everything beautifully, but I wish... He fell into this hole full of bones. He's been getting stoned and doing this because it makes him feel good. It's going to make him feel like he's not in this pit anymore. And when he comes back down off the drugs, off the alcohol, you're still at the bottom of the hole. All right, man. It used to be before I fell into this hole full of bones. I'll be getting stoned and it helped me cope with everything beautifully. But I wish I would have known about the lows. I moved into the middle of nowhere. If I was you, wouldn't go there because I just want to be by myself. Mm. Nothing but some mountains and cold air. I got my dogs and I don't care and I did everything by myself. I just want to be in nature, keep erasing my entire legacy of everything and being famous. I am not a celebrity. I'm a piece of paper that I scribble my thoughts on when they feel dangerous. <laughs> I'm not a celebrity. Hold on. Hold on. I just want to be in nature, keep erasing my entire legacy of everything and being famous. I am not a celebrity. I'm a piece of paper that I scribble my thoughts on when they feel dangerous. He's not a celebrity. He's a piece of paper that he scribbles his thoughts on when they feel dangerous. Man, you know, basically this this the, what we what we interact with is a piece of paper that he put his thoughts on <clears throat> and then sang to us and put it put it to a video. <clears throat> That's hard, man. Let's famous, go. I am not a celebrity. I'm a piece of paper that I scribble my thoughts on when they feel dangerous. Fuck you. I can see it clear. You used to want Hollywood, now I want to disappear. Everywhere I go, people looking at me weird. Every time I see a mirror, I can't look at my face. I've been feeling crazy, but I've been acting like I got it all together. I've been down lately, but maybe someday I'll get my act together. Made it through the bad weather. They was okay, but I had better. I don't like to look at mirrors, because I don't like looking at my face. I like it. I like it. Fantastic, man. That's a deep song. That was damn. That was um pretty deep. We got two songs today that that had very profound messages in both of them. Um, I like that though. I really like that. That's a hell of a song. But all right, I guess that'll do it though. That will be the reaction. Middle-aged white guy is out. Peace.